Yo, this is Swart. Welcome to my floppy boost tutorial. Um, the floppy boost, you're gonna need this weapon right here, or any explosives, but this one is the easiest. And you're gonna need a floppy drive. Um, and to do that, you have to go in here. Um, if you move too far forward, these uh, doors will close, so you just wanna be able to see like the floppy boost, or this is the object we're gonna use, which is a floppy disk reader. At least it looks like one. Um, if I move any forward, I can show you. Um, the door's closed. So, to avoid that, we have to shoot out the floppy boost uh, object um, like this. And now we have. Let's get rid of this one. Um, we have a floppy disk. It looks like a floppy disk. And we're gonna use this floppy disk here to get over here, which is the end of a giant long section of uh, killing fatal and whatever we don't really care about that so the position you want the sloppy boost in is basically around mm, that looks good somewhere around there I'm just gonna say and what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot or a grenade or whatever this is I assume this is grenade launcher I call it that and the box is gonna fly towards this and we're gonna jump up on the box and then basically uh, object hover over uh, this chasm or gap or whatever you want to call it and to get on um, to be easiest way to do is just get on the railing uh, except this railing right here is actually wrong it sort of looks like it's uh, uh, like it's uh, round but it's actually inverted so it's actually not really round um, and what this will do is it will shove you off. When you jump on top of it, it's just gonna push you off. So you're gonna get stuck, you're gonna get pushed off in different directions. It's just super weird to be on. Um, and how do we solve this problem? Because if we wanna stand on this, you can stand on the outside, but it takes longer to set up and it's more annoying. What we do is we jump on this one. Uh, these ones are round. That one over there is also inverted. But these ones are round, so we're fine here. Um, you don't really want to quick save on top of these because these can launch you if you quick load. So what you do is usually stand around here, quick save, uh, jump on top of this one, and normally if you just more walk around, this is gonna get you stuck or launch you uh, in a direction. Um, oops. So if you just walk on top of this, try to align, and oops, I'm down. Oops, I just it's just very slippery, basically. Um, so. What I found out is you can stand on top of this as long as you're going forward only. You can't move left or right or backwards. And you kind of have to walk straight. If you turn around, if you change your position of your feet basically too much, then it's not going to work. But we can do something like this. Oops, I moved too much. Um, and we can stand on top of it without a problem. And another thing to notice is when you're in the middle, um, when you're jumping, you you, c you can get stuck and stuff, so if I just jump, it's gonna sometimes get me stuck when I try to move backwards and jump at the same time, which I'm gonna show you something we wanna do. So basically what I wanna do is be here, shoot this floppy disk, uh, get over here, and then go to the towards the ending of this uh, section. So if I just shoot this, um, see it flies? Kind of pointless. So we're, of course we're gonna use slow mo, um, and this trick is pretty hard. So it's gonna take you a few tries, but it saves so much time that it's absolutely worth it. So I use the flashlight because it's easier to see. You go into slow mo, uh, you shoot far, pretty far away from the object, and uh, then basically you try to ride it to the other side. The further away you shoot, uh, the slower it goes. So if you're noticing that it's slipping beneath your feet when you're going. You need to go slower, so something like this, and I flip through it, um, and you'll be good. Uh, you can notice I'm standing not on the railing, I'm standing outside. The hitbox is pretty big, and for the character model, so you can stand a bit uh, uh, further back than you think you should be able to. Um, like I said, this trick is a bit tricky, so there you see, I didn't make it. It went too fast, so I need to shoot a bit further away. And you have to shoot quite far away. 
and this should be good, yep. Yeah. And you'll be able to make it, so you just jump like two, three times, um, and not kill yourself afterwards. So, line up, start jumping. Uh, when I'm going backwards, I usually just go straight back, um, fall off onto the floppy drive. Uh, you can spam jump if you want to, it's not going to do much. You can't really jump off in a good way on these railings. Um, you just have to mind your timing of when you're going off. Because you don't want to get up in front of it, because then you're just going to like stop it in its trajectory. But something like this, you can jump around, you can air, strafe. You have quite a bit of movement, um, and you're fine. If it's going too fast, you can just basically circle strafe it. Um, or if it's going too slow, uh, so that you feel that like you're going faster than it is, you sort of just move forward, you can press backwards, forwards, whatever. Just making it over. Uh, this saves a few minutes, I think. I haven't planned it, but I assume so, because it's cool. Um, uh, because it's it's quite a long path, you have to go through like the nightmare part, where you actually kill uh, the last boss. Um, so it saves a lot of uh, time, but uh, basically that's how you do the floppy boost. You just have to get the timing down of when you move backwards. Be prepared to like try a few times, and uh, it's with with the right lineup. Uh, it's not very hard. So speaking of lineups, this trick where did it go? Uh, works. You can pretty much put this uh, box anywhere. I can put it right up, up against the edge. Uh, oops, save it on this thing, doesn't matter. Uh, but just notice that you'll have to... Uh, you'll have to uh, shoot uh, further away. Uh, or closer, depending on where you are. Uh, like the posi position of uh, this. Because you want the same amount of distance between uh, the explosion and the object if you're having it further or uh, closer. This is a really bad spot, so I think you have to actually. Something like that should help. But it can be like, it doesn't have to be right up against the edge, it doesn't have to be like in, in any specific spots. This is a poor example, but whatever. Um, oops. Uh, but like basically anywhere around here it can be closer to this part still possible doesn't really matter that much um, so yeah that's a floppy boost one last time yes got it I uh, keep practicing and you should get it fairly quickly 